welcome back to my channel. I am here unboxing the subscription box or bag because it comes in a bag. Um, yes, oh yes. <laughs> um, it comes in a little bag like this. Um, do you hear that? It doesn't sound like it's very padded, like it's in a padded in a padded thing but it doesn't seem like it's very padded I'm gonna open it and look um, this subscription is uh, $14.95 I want to say um, plus shipping so it comes to like $18 around there which is like I don't know I just wanted to try it out um, boxycharm is $21 a month um, and you get five full-size products you can go ahead and check out that video below I'll link it below for you so um, I'm not sure how many full-size products they say you get I think they say four to five but we're gonna look and see what I got um, this isn't the first time I've received this subscription so I have no idea what to expect I don't know if I'm gonna continue with it we shall see let's get into it so I'm hoping it and yeah it doesn't look like there is any like I don't know if there's powder products in here, but there isn't, like, nothing's wrapped up. So, it just comes like this. I have one of the products here. Um, the first thing I pulled out is a lip thing. Lip gloss? Let me see if there's, like, a card or something to tell me what's in here. Okay, so there is, like, a little card. Um... Like this, it says Miami Art Deco. Kind of a cheapy little thing. Um, Cosmoholic liquid lipstick with LED light. Value is $25, so that's what this is. Um, Nomad Cosmetics Havana Eyeshadow, $18. Estate Cosmetics Baked Highlighter, $12. Sorme Cosmetics Eyeliner, $18. Laritzi Cosmetics Lip Liner, $18. This is the box total is $91. So, yeah, I guess we shall see. Um, I haven't heard of any of these brands. I don't know if they're indie or what. So, this is lip color. I don't know if you guys want me to like do like a try on. I'm not really sure. I mean, there's only like one eyeshadow, so I can't really do like a full look. So we'll just do some swatches for now, maybe. Oh, okay, I see. I, I was like, LED light? So there is an LED light in the... It's kind of interesting. I mean, see where it's going. All right. It smells chocolatey. I'm going to scoot you guys in a little bit. I don't know why, because I'm not really trying anything on, but... So, it reminds me of the Lorax lipsticks, the smell, like Too Faced and Tarte, you know that, you know what I'm talking about. So I'm going to just do a swatch. It is a lip gloss for sure. I have like an old swatch in my hand that I can't get off from my last video. It literally won't come off. <laughs> oh. So, I don't know why I do this to myself, I can never... So this is the color, it's just the lip gloss. I'm gonna throw it on because it is just a lip gloss. So let's see, we'll see how it feels. It feels okay right now. The color is not, it's not the best. On me. Oh my god, no, this just went way over my lip. Okay. It's super orangey on me. I'm not living. And it looks weird, doesn't it? Oh, it looks funky. So there's that. 
Um, I don't know why they can't, why it comes with a lip liner, because this is a lip gloss. I, I just, I don't understand that part. It's like a lip pencil. Okay. So, the next thing I'm going to look at is, actually, I'm going to pick up the lip pencil, because we just did the lip. Is the, um, lip pencil, Laritzi lip pencil, um, Oh yeah, I didn't even tell you what color this was in. What does it say? It literally doesn't even say a color. It's just, I have no idea. So, this is Retro Red uh, Lip Pencil by Laritzi Cosmetics. Looks like this. Watch that. Just kind of did like a, you know, looks um kind of like berry red. It's not like a bright red. So there's that. And that one is $18 it re retails for and the lip is $25 is a lot for a lip gloss with an LED light, but you know. I'm going to go into the eyeliner. It has one of these things that I don't like because I can never get them off. Super annoying. I had to get out my, ooh, out of focus. I had to get my tweezers. I just undid the top part so they're still piece stuck. So this is a charcoal eye pencil. It says it's smudge proof. Let's see here, I'm gonna try to uh, uh. <laughs> so it's like a gray. Is it focused on there? It's like a gray color. Um know how it's going to be like, on my waterline. I mean, I could try it, but it's going to look kind of weird because I don't have anything else on. So I'm going to go in with the next product, and that is the Nomad La Habana La Playa Tense Eyeshadow. Let's see. So it looks like this. It says smooth, rich, and super pigmented eyeshadow infused with papaya seed oil to help nourish skin and keep the color looking fresh and vibrant. Packaging looks like this. <clears throat> How do you open this? Oh, mm -hmm. maybe not. Maybe. Oh, oh, there it goes. Okay. So it looks like this. You see the color? I'm just gonna swatch it. So that's what it looks like. The formula feels okay. So that's good. And then I'm gonna open up the what is this called? Um the State Cosmetics Baked Highlighter and it retails for $12. This is an interesting color. So this is a highlighter, you guys. It's like blue. Um, ooh, okay. Interesting. Feels like really hard. That well, comes off. So there's that color. Do a little swatcheroo right there. I mean, it's kind of pretty. I don't know how it's gonna look like if I sheer it out. So let's see. Betsy, Betsy. Can you guys see it? I don't know. It looks better sheared out. It's like icy colored. I think I'm really gonna actually like this. Okay, so for the subscription box, uh, the yes, oh yes, <laughs> subscription box. Um, I did get five items, so it says four to five, and this is the May box. 
So here is my little card here. Um, again, I got the Cosmoholic Liquid Lipstick with the LED, LED, LED light, which retails for $25. There is no shade on this, so I don't know what shade it is, but I'm wearing it on my lips. Nomad Cosmetics Havana Eyeshadow retails for $18. The Estate Cosmetics Baked Highlighter here. There's again, is there a shade? Oh yes, it's in the shade Do Me, and that is $12. The Sorme Cosmetics Eyeliner, this is the charcoal color here, $18. And then the Laritzi Cosmetics Lip Liner, and this is Retro Red, and that's $18. So the box retails for $91. Um, I actually, with my swatches and everything, I'm kind of impressed. I'm not like super impressed because I have BoxyCharm that's the only subscription I have so they're kind of like really far up here they always have really good products um, if you want to go see uh, my unboxing and what I thought of that box you can go ahead and click the link down below I'll post that for you um, I'll also post a link below for the yes oh yes subscription box if you're interested in getting that um, I don't think it's like a horrible deal I the brands aren't very well known so, I mean, if you want to find brands and brand out, I think it's a cool idea. I do think BoxyCharm is a better deal for me personally. It seems like just because you're not paying shipping and it comes to $21 even and you get higher end brands that everyone loves and knows. But I think it's cool that they're getting out other brands. I'm not sure. I mean, these do say they're cruelty free on some of them. Let's see. This one's cruelty free. I'm not sure about this one because my son took the box um, or this. So I'm not 100% sure if these are cruelty free, all of them. They're made in Italy for one of them. But um, I'll actually post it below and let you know um, that information also. So yeah. Um, 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 um. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing video. I didn't want to do a try on just because there wasn't that much like to try on like a normal boxy charm would be. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.